I should tell you how uh, what are different kind of models available uh, for water quality modeling in the channels and in the basin also. Uh, so Equatox is one of the model. Uh, these are developed by Environmental Protection Agency of USA. Uh, basin uh, can be used for non-point uh, uh, integrating point and non-point sources and then this modeling. This is famous Qual 2K. Uh, river and stream water quality programs, SWMM storm water management, WASP water quality analysis simulation, and Sparrow by USGS. There is a comparative study done by uh, a researcher. Uh, uh, naam kya hai, is researcher ka. Uh, you can see this uh, uh, from here. This reference will take you to this paper. And they have comparative uh, done comparison of different models uh, of water quality available in the uh, literature or uh, at their various places. This Mike model is a commercial model developed by Danish Hydraulics Institute or Denmark Hydraulic Institute. Uh, it has a good water quality uh, uh, modules in it. Mike 11, Mike 21, Mike 31. These are used for carrying out the. Uh, water quality and the uh, water modeling. Uh, uh, in addition to that, that I have described QAL, WASP, uh, Basin, FTC. Uh, what it can do, QAL models are suitable for dendritic, so they can take care of the network uh, dendritic rivers. Dendritic rivers are such kind of river, they have tributaries in it, but they don't have the distributaries. See, if you plot a river network, it is possible that a tributary joins to another tributary and make a bigger river. And it is possible that that river is distributed also, that divides into two channels. So there are some programs which can only take care of combining of the, of the uh, uh, tributaries, but they cannot handle the distribution of the water. So those river network which have only the tributaries in it, no distributive, we call them as a dendritic river. Usko hum dendritic river kehte hai. And if we have a loop of the river and uh, confluence and then distribution also, we call that is a network of the river. So some programs cannot handle the network uh, uh, of the rivers. Some program can handle them. Uh, so uh, any one of these software can be used and they have different capability. Some constituents can be modeled in one software. Some constituent cannot be modeled in that. So HECRAS can at the moment, I think, handle these constituent. There are hundreds of the constituent, not all can be modeled, uh, but uh, it has a facility that if you know uh, the diffusion and the transport mechanism of any constituent, you can add a user defined constituent. He call it as a tracer. So he can uh, use the equation given by you or dispersion coefficient given by you to uh, uh, transport that model. So. Uh, equations are uh, available for these constituents, those are the inbuilt, and we have to change their dispersion or their decay coefficient, we have to change, but uh, the remaining their relationships are already uh, provided within the HECRAS. So HECRAS can model temperature uh, 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 transport or heat energy transport. Uh, one more thing you should take into account that whenever you are carrying out the nutrients modeling in HECRAS, most of the uh, coefficient, diffusivity coefficient are the transport coefficients, they are temperature defend dependent. So temperature modeling should also be clicked into it. When you carry out the nutrients modeling, so temperature modeling should also, temperature data should also be given. Uh, that should be kept. In mind, the example you have uh, used today, you have not uh, uh, carried out the nutrient modeling of the nitrogen or phosphorus or dissolved oxygen. You have added a, a tracer of your choice. You have given its dispersion coefficient yourself. I think you remember uh, Suhail has given a dispersion coefficient of 0 0.1. Uh, and we know now the units of dispersion coefficient should be length square per unit time. Uh, feet square per second or meter square per second should be the unit of diffusion coefficient. Now we are familiar with what can be the range of the diffusion coefficient. And I have told you these diffusion coefficient should be calibrated. You assume a suitable value and then from the results compare the concentration at a, some downstream location with the simulated concentration. 
so it can handle lg lg are the plants some microscopic plants are uh, larger plants in uh, aquatic life if you see the greenery in the water bodies so that is lg uh, they are a, a user of oxygen in the uh, they are user of oxygen in the night time when they when they uh, transpire when they take the uh, oxygen and in the daytime when they carry out the photosynthesis they are user of oxygen they are user of oxygen in the daytime and they are uh, producer of oxygen uh, they are user of oxygen in the night time and they are user of oxygen in the daytime so they can work as a sink and they can work as a source also depending upon the time Dissolved oxygen, very important parameter. We want to see uh, how much is oxygen at a certain place and how it will change if there is algae, if there are some uh, chemical actions are going on be because of the nitrogen and the phosphorus and uh, other chemical behavior. Uh, COD, it can handle this process. It can handle uh, phosphate, different kind of phosphate, whether it is organic or it is inorganic phosphate different kind of nitrogen it can handle whether it is nitrite nitrate ammonia ammonia is nh4 nitrite is i think no2 nitrate is no3 organic nitrogen simply uh, nitrogen in some organic body uh, like in algae or in some other part so it can handle these things and uh, our a taste of modeling you have uh, uh, you have taken today in the hecras uh, still, if you have some confusion in that, you are welcome and you can ask next time. I am going to the concentration uh, water quality menu. If you start the water quality menu, it will look like that. So uh, whenever you have to carry out the nutrient modeling, temperature modeling must be clicked yes. But if you are uh, go, uh, first time, it is recommended that you go to the ar arbitrary constituent that is user defined constituent. Uh, it can be any dye or chemical or tracer or any nutrients for which dispersion coefficient is with you. So that should be selected, uh, then temperature modeling is not required. So depending upon which kind of uh, water constituent you are doing, uh, similar ma menu will be changing over here. Uh, like in water modeling, uh, you have to do give the boundary condition, similarly boundary condition you have to provide over here. It's like in water modeling, you have to give initial condition, initial condition of the constituents you have to give all along the channel. Uh, then if it is a tracer, this dispersion coefficient should be given for that tracer. Then it can take into account how much is the shading on the river uh, and uh, it can take into account the temperature change because of the shading or not shading. Uh, uh, the data of the atmosphere it can uh, take from the meteorological databases. You can define uh, a meteorological station. You can put a meteorological st station over here and you can tell uh, the temperature variation observed by that meteorological station, a pressure variation, humidity variation. So you can tell him that meteorological station is over here and this river cell are linked to this meteorological station. So it will take the meteorological data from here, temperature, pressure, humidity, uh, sunshine. So to, take, uh, to carry out the temperature modeling. Nutrients parameter are uh, given, uh, the formulas are given in it and the suitable value of the coefficients are also given in it. But all of these coefficients are changeable. For example, if we are carrying out the dissolved oxygen modeling, so dissolved oxygen is shown over here in the map form and over here in the tabular form. So it highlight this part. So dissolved oxygen is dependent upon LGs. So I, I told you that LG can give oxygen and LG can use oxygen. Uh, when they respire, they use oxygen. When they photosynthesize, they give oxygen. Similarly, it is dependent upon other factors like uh, uh, nitrogen, uh, uh, oxidation of the nitrogen are these things. So their coefficient of the relevant are given over here and the suitable value of the coefficient. For example, I have uh, clicked over here, uptake per unit ammonia oxidized. When ammonia is oxidized, then how much oxygen will be utilized? So this, this factor will control it. Uh, factor of three is being used over here. So initially we should use these default parameters and later on we can uh, change these parameters to calibrate our model. 
so uh, we don't have to initially change this thing for nutrients modeling. Dissolved oxygen ki modeling ke liye total dissolved gas parameter, so we can uh, use this parameter. Uh, similarly, if we put some spill or mass injection, how much we are injecting uh, at a certain place that we can put over here. Uh, if we have observed data for calibration purpose, we can use this and the reference value, we can put it over here. When we plot the graph, so these uh, observed values will be plotted along with the simulated values for our better calibration. So if you are able to uh, use with this uh, background and this knowledge, at least you can carry out steady and unsteady analysis for a tracer of your choice. So that is considered sufficient. Later on in your MSc, you can further look into this and you can carry out the actual modeling by observing the data in the field also and adding that one over here. So I stop it over here. So if you have any question with respect to that, uh, this uh, uh, topic of water quality and the knowledge of advection and dispersion and uh, some basic definitions, uh, I think I will recommend you go through this chapter much will be added to our knowledge uh, when i studied it first time two three years ago previously i never studied it so it added to a lot to my knowledge and it will add to your knowledge also and water quality is as important as the quantity of water so previously we civil engineer used to say that water quality analysis is job of the environmental people but now water quality uh, jobs are even more than uh, the dam designer. Now people are talking about the water quality in the reservoir. They're not talking about how to design a dam because the dam have been constructed much. Although in our part still there is a need of the designer of the dams also. But in the world, water quality is the uh, important uh, uh, word or important uh, uh, thing which is still being sold. So if you have the if you have the capability of the water quality analysis in uh, water surface bodies and in the groundwater bodies, you you can uh, you can earn a good uh, uh, wages out of it. So uh, I stop it over here.